Reality have recently and very kindly sent me one of their new pro level laser machines to try out. And that's what you see next to me here. This is their Falcon 2 Pro and I've got the 22 watt laser version. Now I'm a CNC guy really. I've been using my CNC router for many, many years and that's really what I'm accustomed to. I've never used a laser before. I have no idea anything about them before I started playing around with this, but this has got some really cool features on it. And um, there's a lot of things that this can do that I couldn't previously do with my machine. In this video, I'm gonna be trying out the machine and cutting a couple of different things. I'm gonna engrave a piece of high pressure laminate as a test piece for something that I might be using for making some boat gauges a little bit further down the line. I'm also gonna be engraving and cutting some mahogany veneer, which is left over from the project. And I'm hoping to repurpose that and not let it go to waste. So let's get the machine built, we'll take a look at some of its features and we'll see what it can do. So I started out by getting the machine built and as soon as I opened up the box immediately the first thing I noticed was the quality of this machine. It's all uh, made from aluminium and it's, it's really nicely made. All of the extrusions and the coatings and everything on it are um, what you'd expect of a, of a professional level machine. A lot of my machines that I've got downstairs, even the bigger, much more expensive things, um, don't quite match up to the quality of this. So I was really pleased to see that. Uh, it goes together relatively simply. The main frame of the laser is already built straight out of the box and you've pretty much just got to assemble this hood system that is on the top. And uh, that means that the laser is completely enclosed, which I think is a really great thing because apparently it's quite nasty to be looking at any of the light that comes off the beam from that, even the reflective stuff. So um, it's good that it's enclosed. And you've got this roll top feature on the top of the enclosure as well that goes right back and allows you really good access to inside the laser, which is good. That also functions as a, a switching system that can automatically turn on the fan and the light as you uh, open or shut the lid, which is cool. So inside of the machine, you've got these little bars that support your workpiece. One of the benefits of, the, uh, of laser cutting versus CNC cutting is that it's not touching your parts. So you haven't got that physical force of a, of a cutter going through your, your workpiece. So you don't have to clamp it down and hold it down like I do on the CNC machine. So we've got a bit of a difference there. The parts just rest under their own weight most of the time. And they sit on these little vertical bars that just hold them flat in the correct plane underneath the laser head. There's various different extraction things on the machine as well. There's a fan at the back that pulls constant airflow out through the hood. And there's a little pump that also pumps air over the laser lens or nozzle. So uh, keeps everything clear and moving. One thing I've noticed with this is it does smell quite a lot because you're essentially burning whatever you're cutting or engraving. So um, smells quite a bit. They do make an extraction unit for this and I think I would definitely recommend getting one of those if you're using this indoors very much at all. I'm actually running my paint booth extraction downstairs at the moment to pull the fumes out of the room and uh, that's the only way that I can get it to, uh, to be nice and manageable, copable. So we've got the laser module that moves around inside on, um, on two axes, the same as you would do with a CNC machine. And you adjust the height of the laser and you focus that based on the thickness of your material using this little focusing block, which you just use to set the height of the laser once you've got your stock placed. There's a camera up in the top of the machine up here, and that is probably one of the best features I've seen on this. If I could have that same system on my CNC machine, it would be absolutely killer it's it's really good for placement of parts yeah that is something i wish i had the machine also has a frame function which again is something i really wish i had on my cnc router once you've got your part set up and you've created your your code for cutting or engraving you can press the frame button and the laser will trace the outside of your part of where it's going to run when it starts to cut and that's great for just making sure that you're within the limits of your stock and that you've got your origins correct and things like that. That's a really good feature. I'm, um, I'm liking that. So we can run the machine from USB directly into the laptop, which is how I'm doing it currently, or we can run it with a SD card in the side of the machine and we can download programs to it. And that's basically the way that I run my CNC machine. I do the program on upstairs and then I bring that down and run it on the machine. So let's have a go at making something. The first thing I want to try is a piece of this high pressure laminate. So as I said, I want to try and make the gauges, the entire assembly, but we're going to start with doing some experiments with the gauge faces and various different designs and things that are kind of in my head at the moment. But this is a piece of high pressure laminate anyway. So it's black cord in the middle 
and then it's white faced. So what we can hopefully do is engrave that on the laser machine and get some really sharp text outlines that are gonna form the, the face of the gauge. There's a number of different ways I might do that. I thought about possibly doing some anodized aluminium. I'm gonna do some experiments, see what works, what things look like. So I'm using the light burn software for controlling my laser at the moment. And this is what that looks like. It's a relatively simple, easy to use package. I've literally just started using this two days ago. So I'm still getting to grips with it myself. Uh, this is the D design that I'm gonna do. So this is something that I actually came up with quite some time ago. It's uh, based on the original Reliance tachometer gauge that I've got an old version of. And this is a, a modernized version of it actually for an electric boat. So you can see this is revolutions for uh, an electric motor. But what I'm gonna do is try and cut that on my high pressure laminate and see what we get, see if we can get a gauge out of it. So place the stock inside the machine. And that literally just rests on those bars. Okay, then I drive the laser to over the top of my stock and I'm gonna use this little height setter to focus the laser. So I loosen that laser module off. Put that bar under the side of it there. Drop that down to the correct height. And then tighten that back up. And that is now the laser focused at the correct height. So got my stock in the machine there. I've got the laser focused at the correct height. And over to here, this is perhaps one of my favorite features. Okay, so press the camera button. Now I've got a photo of my stock within the footprint of my machine. So what I can do now is just grab my part and move that to somewhere sensible that's gonna fit within the stock that I'm using. And I know it's gonna be placed. That is a feature I really wish I had on my CNC. If you're cutting around other items that are already on your stock and you've only got a little bit of space, that is perfect for location. And you haven't got to worry about trying to reset origins and things like that. You can just keep them where they are and uh, reference them to each other. So that's my part placed and ready to cut. So you can see in the software at the top here, we've got um, various different layers. So we create a layer for each of the types of cut that we want to do. So I've got one for my infill and then I've got one for my line which is around the outside and you can see that's color coded with reference to each layer. Then we set a power and a speed for each layer as well and that just really dictates whether it's going to cut or engrave and that comes from a set of parameters that you get with the machine and that's just in this little table here so it just tells you for what material you're either engraving or cutting it gives you a recommended um, power for the laser and speed for the cut so I'm working to those recommendations. So I'm happy with that. I've got my part placed there. You can see the photograph that relates to my stock that's inside the machine. And I've got my layers set up here, ready to cut. So let's get and engrave that and see what we get. So first thing I'm gonna do is just press the frame button and you'll just see that the laser traces the outside of where it's going to cut and that is perfect for me to just do a final double check that it's going to uh, cut in the right place happy with all that so let's press go Okay, so uh, cut didn't work quite so well. That's probably just down to the settings that I've got on this. It wasn't wanting to cut through this, but it is fairly thick, high pressure laminate. Um, but the engraving looks really cool. I'm really pleased with that. Obviously, I'm gonna experiment with a few different materials and things, but um, that's gonna work really well for a gauge face, I think. Looks really sharp. 
So uh, yeah, nice job. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna try cutting is some small pieces of mahogany veneer. So I've got loads of this left over from the offcuts of uh, various different things that I'm gonna do within the boat build that I'm currently doing. And this is the sort of ideal stuff for lasers. It's gonna cut this really well and it should engrave wood quite nice and sharply as well. You we got a really fine line on it. So um, I've got a little coaster design done, which is just the lines of the boat that I'm building. And um, we're gonna chuck this in the machine, see how it comes out with some thin wood. So this is the design. You can see this is like a technical drawing lines of the boat. And then we've got the Temptress logo at the top there. We've got several different layers here. So I'm gonna do lines for the majority of the line section of the boat. We're gonna infill the name here. We're gonna do a line just here on the outside or just inside the edge of the coaster. And then we're gonna cut on the red line as well. So we've got a different layer for each of those operations. So we'll get the wood into our laser machine. So we can position that anywhere we like within the machine. Shut the top down. Come over to the software and we can take a picture of that stock. So you can see our piece of wood there inside the machine. Drag our engraving to where we want it. So that we got plenty of clearance. And we're ready to go. Press start. And there we go, little temptress coaster. Amazing detail on that. You can see the, the sharpness of those lines in there. And uh, nice cut all the way through as well. And really quick, a couple of minutes just to do that. So that is the first couple of cuts down on the new Creality Falcon 2 Pro laser machine. Really nice engraver and cutter and i'm looking forward to using that in a lot of different things i'm going to experiment with different materials and um, i'm sure i'll think of more ways that i can use this machine as i progress through my project if you're new to the channel then make sure you check out some of my other videos because i'm currently building a boat called temptress and some of this stuff kind of stems from the uh, the leftovers of that and throughout that project, I'm trying to implement new technologies into the wooden boat building world, doing a lot of CAD and CNC stuff. So if you're into laser stuff, that might be quite interesting. And if you're an existing channel viewer, then keep your eyes peeled for the laser machine in some more things throughout the Temptress project as I build all the various different parts of the boat. Let me know if you've got any ideas for things that I can cut from the offcuts from Temptress because I want to try and repurpose some of those bits of wood wherever possible and making little things that I could perhaps send out to viewers might be a nice little addition to the series. So pop any ideas you got in the comments below. I'll uh, look forward to hearing what you guys think for that. If you're interested in any of the Creality laser machines, then take a look in the description below this video where you can see a link to all of the machines that they do and all the accessories that go with them as well. They're a really great quality machine and I'm looking forward to using this much more throughout my projects in the future. So hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers guys.